Hello Leos, this is your reading for May 2019. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. These cards are doing all kinds of things. If you guys have a lot going on in the month of May, let's try this shuffle again. See? Leo going on for Leos in the month of May in love. What messages do we have for Leo for May 2019? Messages for Leo. Please show me. Messages for Leo. Is the car is upside down? No, but this one is. And this is the... No, it's not. It's a hangman. Feeling restricted. Somebody in your situation feels restricted, whether it's you or whether it's somebody else. Um, but <clears throat> this is this is temporary, though. I feel like um, somebody's trying to break free of some kind of restriction here, trying to figure something out. want to make a move but just really trying to decide what is the best move to make um, in a situation here okay this Piscean energy there and then we have temperance here I'm feeling there's something um, that wasn't working out for you guys before but I'm definitely feeling that there is not only a want to correct something or make something better but there is like a need to make something better there's a there's a need to um, to express some, some emotions some feelings here wanting to feel better wanting to move forward Sagittarius energy there what other energy do we have for Leo? Then we have the King of Cups here. Hmm. I'm feeling that somebody here has figured out that in order to make a situation work that there's something that needs to change by way of emotional expression by um, not not being overly expressive and also not being aloof um, there's somebody in the situation that wants to work things out work with another person here okay want to be happy Then we have the Knight of Cups there. There's somebody coming in that wants to express their love. That wants to that wants to free the other person from a situation. Want, wants to warm this person up to um, getting back together. So it's like there, there's somebody that wants to work something out with the other person, but I feel that the other person is being, um, it's not ready on their own. It's like they need a little nudging here. <clears throat> Please show me more about this hangman energy. They should be more about the hangman energy. Then we have the Hierophant. There's, excuse me. There I go. <clears throat> Getting choked up here. There's somebody that this person feels like they thought a certain way or felt a certain way for a long time. But now they are reevaluating 
what it is that they once believed. This person wants a commitment now, whereas before they may not have. This person has learned some things here about how to work with other people. The need to work with other people if they want uh, peace and harmony in their life. <clears throat> Please show me more about the temperance energy. <clears throat> And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel strongly this is a Capricorn Sagittarius energy that is significant um, for you guys here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign here. Okay. For a lot of you. Either this person is is wanting to bridge the gap with you guys, or this is you guys wanting to bridge the gap with this person, want to work things out, want to work on the connection, um, wanting to offer emotions where maybe before you weren't that eager to. Maybe before you guys felt differently about this person but I'm getting that there is a change here in this situation <clears throat> there you are the six of wands energy feeling confident in how you feel feeling emotionally connected and emotionally stable Feeling like reconnecting or connecting in general with this individual would be successful for you. Some of you are wanting to marry someone here or somebody's wanting to marry you. There's commitment around you guys here. I'm definitely getting that there's a transition for my Leos from feeling stuck and feeling set in your ways about a commitment to wanting to work together, work with this person, get back together with this person even if you have separated from them or either this is somebody new that you guys are have met and maybe you know weren't thinking seriously about this person before but now I'm definitely getting that there is a seriousness arising in this situation okay now we have the eight of cups hmm. this is somebody that you guys left behind before this is somebody that you walked away from before and I feel like you walked away in order to explore, you know, the single life or just be by yourself in general um, to kind of get yourself together, get your thoughts together even. But there's been a change in the way that you are feeling no, no longer wanting to um, go out and, and date different people. I'm feeling like your attention is all on this person okay what other energy is coming in for my Leo's what other energy is coming in for my Leo's ace of wands excitement starting something new and exciting here taking action And the Ace of Swords, <laughs> realizing there, there's, there's like this newfound interest. There's something that you guys have become aware of. There's something you know. There's something you know that you want to take action on. Brand new start. 
here you go. The strength energy. You were holding yourself back from it for a long time. Seven of Wands. You were holding yourself back from it for a long time. This is you. The Strength and the Seven of Wands. Both of these are about being strong. Realizing the truth. Being strong enough to realize the truth about yourself and the situation so you can have this new start. This person, I feel like is very balanced. You're looking for balance and harmony. I see it here. I definitely see it here. I see action being taken. I see self-realization. This is a this is a good person here. Whoever this is for you guys. Okay? So Pisces, Taurus, um, I feel strong Sagittarius Capricorn energy here. <coughs> Excuse me, Scorpio, Cancer energies here as well. Uh, could very well be another Leo like yourself. Aries energy. And air energies here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys for the month of May. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon.